see you. I see you. I shoot you. Hello, guys. Welcome back to some more Star Wars Quadrants. We're gonna go on a mission where you're gonna steal an Imperial the Star Destroyer. For this mission. Got you outfitted with ion missiles. They disable enemy fighters and they'll disable subsystems on enemy capital ships too. All right. I don't mind being in an X-wing. It's my favorite ship after all. But if we're talking gigantic, I have to say the Venators from the first, um, from the Clone Wars is my favorite, technically, favorite ship. I don't know, there's just some charm about them and the red color scheme and then the, the, the red with the gray that kind of just speaks to me. Yeah, it just feels cool. Oh, okay. Calling for immediate assistance. Captain Antilles with Vanguard Squadron. Here to help. It's damn good to see you, Wedge. We've taken heavy losses. We need that Star Destroyer stopped. Don't you worry. We're here to hijack it. You're what? Be ready. No, we got this. Those have got to be the first to go. Agreed. They're fast. They'll rip right through our fighters. Vanguard, prioritize targets. Okay, after the interceptors. I'm with you. Crap. Oh, shite. Right into the action, aren't we? Weapons deal minimal hull damage, but I deal with squad tactics. Oh, so they're just gonna finish them off if I. Uh... Okay, that's good. Ooh, ooh. I'll get you though. Ooh, this is hurting me a little bit. What am I attacking here? Right. I don't see them. Right, gotta, gotta do like a little flip here. That's it. All ties down. Good job, Vanguard. Okay, regroup on Talos leader. Okay. We need to make a few repairs, then get ourselves out of here. Roger that, Talos leader. And don't worry about the Imperials. We'll keep them busy. You're really gonna steal that Star Destroyer? That's the plan. Okay, Vanguard, on me. Let's head for the Victorum. All right, we got this. Focus your shields before they open fire on us. Focus your shields? But there's no point in doing that right now. Hold. Oh. Knock out its targeting system. Let's do it. Putting power to forward shields. All that damage, and this thing still has teeth. No one to compete in just three, two, one. Now. All right, don't worry about it. Oh, back. Here I am. This is our chance to capture that star destroyer. If we take the bridge, we'll have access to its internal systems. Stand for a breach point, so we can send an aborting team. You're up five. What? Star destroyer, just like the old days. 
I'm scanning. I'm trying to scan, but it won't let me. Okay, I need to balance this right now. It's fine. I have focused on shields. Okay, turn around and scan. Okay, that's not exactly what I want to scan. That's what I want to scan. Okay, good. Destroy the checkpoint. Right now? Like, I don't do anything, though. I don't want to cycle through targets right now. Yeah, why do I have to do that? You know how hard it is to do that? I can't just go over there and be like, oh, I'm gonna breach now. Say. Let me know where the ships are at this point. You can shake them if I let you shake them. You're in a bind, are you? How come you guys are calling me five, but like you guys are calling each other by names? You need to call me Bobina. Wait, I'm still fighting something? What am I fighting here? The turrets, I'm guessing. Oh, oh, no shield in the back. Oh, turn around. Oh, you want to go in here? No, you don't. You definitely don't want me to go in here. Oh, I need to destroy the ties. Why, why am I blind? They're right over here. Oh, boy. Focus all the shields in the back. Thank you. Oh, they pretty much killed all of them. See you. I see you. I shoot you. Oh, great. What? What are you doing? I'm going to follow you, right? Why the heck do you keep evading me? Where are we going then? Just get us there and we'll do the rest. You heard him back. 
Okay, cool. All guns, like all seals right now. Oh, there we go. So there they go. They answered my question that I had about the uh, enemy crew. Are you guys doing it? Oh, you are. All right, don't you worry. We're on it. Advanced targeting. By default, your targeting system will only cycle through objectives. You can change that. Yeah. yeah. All enemies? I think all enemies, yeah, sure, but don't. A lot of enemy ships. Right on my tail. They're definitely hurting me. Missile looking on now. You? Oh, they hurt a little bit. All guns. All right, uh, keep on firing. The Indians just at the weak point. I don't know if they even have a weak point to be honest. Heels full. Okay. Let's finish off the rest. Good idea. Oh yeah. Okay. Regroup at my position. Regroup at you. And through them we shall go. Well, together. Oh, crap. Two, three. Make that three carriers. That's a lot. Get ready, everyone. We're in. Taking control now. Oh, nice. Well, it's kind of hurt now, though. Sendula? Intelligence operative. Oh well, that sucks. Good everything other one though. Hey, good job, man. Now the Empire's gonna want that Star Destroyer back. Good. Let's see him try and take it. 
You know, back home after the Empire invaded Mimbin, we stole an armored transport hauler full of scout walkers. When the Empire came looking for them, we just turned the walkers against them. Had a real good time. I'm guessing the commander has something similar in mind for the Star Destroyer, right? Otherwise, what's the point? At least Wedge picked the right team for the job, huh? Those slackers in Alphabet Squadron would still be fapping around at Yavin. <laughs> Enough yapping. Time to check with the commander and see what's next. Yep. You do love your awkward poses, don't you? <laughs> was a fun mission even better than beating my time on the death march circuit we got to steal a star destroyer and help our friends doing it and see yavin we still have allies on the fourth moon but i've never been there there was an energy at yavin like i've never felt anywhere else it was chaotic and serene all at once the empire corrupts the energy of every planet it touches but I can always feel the good buried beneath that. And that's what we fight for, the good. Anyway, I saw Frisk bothering Commander Javes earlier. Knowing Frisk, the commander might appreciate some backup. How do you know we're fighting for the good? Like, the, <laughs> this is the whole thing with Star Wars all the time. Seems to be someone bigger, and then they, the people working below them don't know that they're bad. Same with the Empire. Like, I'm pretty sure the Rebels did some shady stuff. Hello, Gong right? Briefing. Not now, Frisk. I'll answer your questions once the Star Destroyer has been delivered safely. Delivered where? We risked our tails to get that Star Destroyer. And you can't even tell us where we're going? It's not my call. Besides, I'd be risking a lot of lives if I shared too much too soon. You hearing this? After all we did for Project Starhawk. Listen. All I can tell you is the basics. Now? Damn. Call in Vanguard for immediate briefing. Ah, heck. It was just getting good. Now just wait until it gets destroyed. You get for not sharing details. Okay, Everybody let me just brief here. then. <laughs> we have an emergency. The Star Destroyer you captured has unexpectedly fallen out of the hyperspace behind enemy lines. Our troops are repairing the hyperdrive as quickly as possible, but you need to buy them some time. There's an Imperial fleet advancing toward the Star Destroyer Victorum. I want A-Wings intercepting enemy fighters. The rest of Vanguard will provide defense and support. I know Imperial protocol better than most. I have no doubt the Empire will disable the Victorum with ion weapons before sending shuttles to recapture it. Stop them at all costs. The Empire must not reclaim the Victorum. Once the Star Destroyer's hyperdrive is operational, cover its escape so it can jump to safety. I'll send you rendezvous coordinates when the time is right. Okay then. Let me hear what you guys have to say. This is my fault. I underestimated the repair. Now the whole project's at risk. Hyperdrive's break, Otto. It's not your fault. They should have suggested you send more engineers to Yavin. Then this never would have happened. It's fine. Vanguard is ready. They'll get there in time. Won't you? Indeed we will. I know, but I'll reach out to Hosni and Prime and requisition a few more engineers. Just in case. Just in case. Get moving, pilot. And you name a character just in case. It would be funny. Every single time everyone says just in case in games, I'm like, yes. Enemy lines. It was the Battle of Mimbin, the first year of the Clone Wars. The Separatists had dropped a battalion of B2 droids on the Nan Flatlands, cutting us off from the 224th Clone Division. A thunderstorm was jamming communications, so I took a skyhopper to rendezvous with the 224, hoping to get some reinforcements. It didn't go well. I was halfway across the flatlands when those droids shot me down. And believe me, you have never seen a finer crash landing. The only problem was my arm got caught in some wreckage. 
Figured I'd rather live my life with one arm than sit around and wait for those droids to find me. Besides, you only need one hand to carry a blaster, right? I drag myself out of those flatlands with only one arm and a seriously sour disposition. I guarantee those clone boys had never seen anything like me before. But they fixed me up. Then they helped us drive those blasted droids right off planet. If only I'd known that three years later, those clones would be replaced by stormtroopers. But, anyway. We should head back to the hangar. The Victorum needs us. Yeah, yeah, I guess that is true. That is what we're gonna fly in now? Interesting ship. Is that an A-wing? We were just talking. <laughs> Everything's an A-wing for me. Not the one with the Y-wing, this is an A-wing. I keep messing up the names. What do you call them? It's just a hunch for us, that's all. So what do you think happened? I feel like it was the Imperial. Like X-Wing, the one I fly in, the Y-Wing, the one that has a lot of bombs and has two big engines. Then the A-Wing, this is a little tiny one. I know it sounds wild, but when Keo has a hunch, they're usually right. Don't listen to him. It's really not that big of a deal. On Miriel, we're taught to respect and listen to the Force. I can't reach out and touch it like, well, like others could, but sometimes I just have a feeling about things. I don't like to talk about it. These days, you never know who in the galaxy is listening. Ah, oh, so you are a false sensitive, are you? Let's get serious, huh? When are you gonna have a premonition about the Carillion Lottery? Really? People are waiting for us to save them, and you're thinking about credits. Look, you see any numbers, just tell me, okay? They gotta be good for something. <laughs> We really should Look at me like that when you say that. Like if you're talking to me about it. Well, I'm going in this A-wing then, right? A-wings go as fast as you can fly them. Their hull and shields are too light to take on capital ships, but Imperial starfighters won't stand a chance with you in this cockpit. I guess that makes sense. But aren't we supposed to take out some Imperial big ships that are after the? Okay, I mean, uh, okay. We have a few options to make your tie hunting more efficient. Big fan of the rapid fire lasers and barrage rockets myself. Rapid okay. Pico quick lock missile. Alright, I will try this out. Primary damage taken, max health, minus 10, hostile lock time. I mean, Padman really wants this one. Uh, primary damage taken. Yeah, I'll take this one. Shields. Uh, kill generation, bad. Now I'm gonna go with the standard one. <laughs> one kind of sucks, the other one. Maneuverability, acceleration, and no. I think everything is as good as I'm gonna get it. NCA wing. Who cares? Our star destroyer's in trouble. Vanguard, good to see you again. Think you can keep those bombers off us? We're on it, Victorum. Sit tight. Five, intercept those time bombers. We need to buy our crew some time. All right, but before I do that, I'm gonna have to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, click that like button. If you want to see more from me, search for 8,000 with the subscribe button, and I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.